Technoblade, where have you been all this time? Well, you see, I've been farming potatoes in Skyblock. It all started months ago. I just got in a set of superior armor and wanted hot potato books to upgrade it. I could have just bought some from the auction like a normal person, but if Hypixel has taught me anything, it's that if you have a problem, the answer is slavery. So I had 20 potato minions with 20 enchanted lava buckets, 20 super compactors, and with this setup, I was making about 242,000 potatoes per day. And I was already top 50 in potatoes. I decided at that moment that I was going to be the number one potato farmer. First, I needed to get more minion slots, and after spending many hours, I finally unlocked the 22nd minion slot. My last hidden weapon was the farming crystal, which increases the speed of nearby farming minions by 10%. I could only fit 12 minions in that radius, but I thought, you know what, whatever, I'll just make a second farm crystal. And so, the potato pyramid was complete, yielding 309,000 potatoes per day. I discovered a forum post from September in which a user named I'm a Squid Kid bragged about being ranked number one in potatoes. By stalking his profile, I found another post weeks later in which he suggested he was now around 7 million potatoes. By putting these two data values on a grid, I could calculate the slope to estimate his average daily potato yields. I mean, it's not like I could just go to his island and, and look at it. Wait, that worked? But what I found shocked me to my very core. This man made eight potato 11 minions, and then he painted the Mona Lisa. He was already seven and a half million potatoes ahead of me. Even if all my minions magically became level 11 at that very moment, it would take 107 days to catch up. If I wanted to defeat a man that had descended into potato madness, I would have to take his insanity and triple it. The potato pyramid was no longer enough to fit all my minions within the farming crystal's radius. So I built the Potato Dome! Boasting five floors, the Potato Dome could fit all 22 expanded minions. And yet I knew, in my heart, that it wasn't enough. I'd done it. I discovered a critical flaw with Squid Kid's potato farm. His minions were too close together. When they're too close together, they'll start trying to plant in spots the other minions already planted and get stuck in an infinite loop, dragging down the overall farm's potato output by as much as 90%. So I decided to look into alternate fuel sources for my minions. So I got a bunch of hamster wheels which give twice as much of a boost, 50%, but for only a day. I was finally making good progress. Until one day, when I went to AFK on his island again. Oh god, he's online. What do you want? You AFK'd on my island for 12 hours! But after a few days, I ran out of hamster wheels, and I had to resort to my final weapon, the Catalyst. The Catalyst is the strongest fuel source in the game, tripling your minion output. With the power of Catalyst, my potato output skyrocketed, and I put that all back into leveling up my minions, and yet Squid Kid had been so dominant on the potato leaderboards that he was still 3 million potatoes ahead. I kept AFKing on his island until one day. Two guys I'd never heard of before had called the police on Squid Kid. Whitelisted, are you Squid Kid Salt? No, I just AFK here a lot as a hobby. They'd been investigating while Squid Kid was offline. I met him later that day and decided to warn him. Squid, I know we've had our differences, but the police are after you, man. I saw a helper. You gotta be careful, man. The snitches be everywhere. Anyways, I'm gonna go AFK now. It seemed strange to be helping my number one enemy, but his sheer dedication to farming potatoes had earned my respect. I had to give him help. I kept farming potatoes, and in a matter of days, Squid Kid's lead was almost completely destroyed. And yet Squid Kid himself had no idea. He even put a billboard on his island, number one in potatoes. The poor fool had no idea what was coming. Yes! <laughs> Number one in potatoes! <laughs> so I went to confront him myself one final time. What do you want? Why are you doing this? Your potato rank one spot is now mine! <laughs> He's checking. <laughs> this is all I have. Squid, I found a problem with your island. This sign. It has the wrong number! <laughs> and that's the story of how I became number one on the potato leaderboards, and we lived happily ever after. The other day I was farming potatoes by hand when a man visited my island and asked, Didn't you already win the potato war? But no, the potato wars never ended. To understand how things ended up like this, we've got to go back to November. Squid warned me that he wasn't giving up on rank number one, but I didn't care. So I uploaded the great potato war. But in the days after that, I did nothing. I'd spent so long working to become number one. Now that I had done it, I, I didn't feel anything at 
all. I, I had no idea what to do with myself. But my belief that the potato war was already over hadn't been baseless. Squid Kid would need almost a hundred million coins to catch up. And I knew for a fact he was broke. I decided to do some investigative journalism. People were helping Squid Kid. People had seen the video, felt bad, and gone to his island to hand him the spare items he needed to make more slots, or in some cases just pay him millions of coins, all with the express purpose of defeating Technoblade once and for all. In a week, he had a farm even stronger than my own. If I wanted to remain number one, I had to act fast. And like that, I began my plan. I knew there was only one way to defeat Squid once and for all, by building a farm so powerful it reached the theoretical potato limit. And to do that, I would have to do something no solo player had ever done before. Unlock the 24th minion slot. Fortunately, I'd already reached 100 million coins by selling potatoes before prices had fallen. In the meantime, I headed to the Spider's Den, where I fought Tier 4 Tarantula bosses until I reached Spider Slayer 5, unlocking the Tarantula minion, which gave several new minion crafts. The 24th minion was up, and my farm was now producing 1,067,000 potatoes per day. I now had the maximum number of minions, but if I wanted to make the greatest possible potato farm, there was still one upgrade I needed to get. The flycatcher is an upgrade which increased minion speed by 10%. Oh, but Technoblade, that sounds great. Wrong. You would not believe how difficult it is to make a flycatcher. It was a daunting task, but I knew we had to start immediately. I'd been stalking Squid Kid's Twitter, so I knew he was a college student. Exam season! Squid Kid would be at his weakest. We had to get as many flycatchers as we could before winter break. Get in tarantula the silk was taking weeks, but getting the fly swatters was actually quite easy. This was largely thanks to this man who used his expert business skills to outsource the work to dozens of Skyblock tryhards, ultimately contributing 3,000 stacks of tarantula webs, for which I paid over a hundred million coins. We'd finally done it. We'd created the strongest possible potato farm, producing 1,129,000 potatoes per day. Unfortunately, Squid's army wasn't slacking off either, and two weeks later he too had the strongest theoretical potato potato farm. Now the only way for him to catch up would be to farm potatoes by hand, and he had already started. I spent 10 hours constructing a gigantic potato farm covering over 21,000 blocks. My farm is finally complete. Overall, Squid ended up farming over 1 million potatoes by hand. In that same time, I farmed over 5 million! I had to replant this entire field 19 times! As time went on, you could begin to hear the hope draining from his voice. At this point, I was pretty confident in winning the potato were, but the problem is I had no idea how large my lead was. But everything changed with the pet update. Of course, the main part of the pet update was the pets themselves. I immediately started looking for a pet. The best option I could find was the rabbit pet. It turned out rabbit pets had a secret third ability that only legendary variants had, which increased the speed of farming minions by up to 30%. And Squid had no idea it existed! And in this time, Squid was fishing to level up his epic Squid pet. It wasn't until four days after the update that he learned about the legendary rabbit rabbit and got one of his own. But it was too late, his pet sucks, it's level like 65 or something. It's difficult to calculate exactly what my potato lead is right now because the rabbit pet only works when you're online, but the pet update has definitely pushed it to at least 25 million. You have no idea. This man's been playing checkers while I've been farming potatoes, he's through! My name is Technoblade. I've spent the last year fighting to maintain my spot as the number one potato farmer in Skyblock, opposing me as Squid Kid, the former rank number one. In my last video, I talked about how the newly added rabbit pet could, at its highest level, increase the amount of potatoes my minions made by 30%, but I knew Squid would watch my video to find out my tactics, so I left out a few of the finer details. If there's multiple rabbit pets on the same island, which one boosts the minions? You'd think it'd be the strongest one, but it's not. If there's multiple rabbits, the minions will be boosted by the one belonging to whoever's been on on the island the longest. Unrelated fun fact, did you know that Squid Kid's Island is still open to visitors? Every night around 2 a.m., Squid would leave his account and go to bed, and that's when I'd strike, overriding his rabbit pet boost for the rest of the night. Squid and I had both been rushing to get our rabbits to level 100, but unfortunately an unknown third party got there first and sold his level 100 legendary rabbit directly to Squid. Of course, he didn't forget to brag about this victory on stream. Oh my, oh my. You know who doesn't have a level 100 pet? Yeah. Yikes, it's only level 99, I'm screaming! Little did he know that while he was flexing on stream, my alt was right there on his island, overriding his level 100 bonus. But unfortunately, my alt was kicked and Squid's Island was closed forever. But by that point, I'd already achieved my objective. The two weeks it took him to realize what was going on cost him about 2 million potatoes. Bit of a tangent, but I'm pretty sure I lost a few fans over the rabbit pet because everyone would just be hanging out. They're sabotaging my potatoes, so I'd kick him out of my island to get priority back. And 
and then they'd come back 10 seconds later like why did you kick me technoblade i can't tell you because it's a secret and they'd go like it's okay technoblade it's because you hate me specifically wait come back no now it was easy to get people to afk on my island what was difficult was getting people off of squid's island squid kid was getting boosted by my own viewers and there was nothing i could do to stop them the only way to stop this from happening would be to get squid to close his own island to visitors without him realizing that that's what i wanted all along it took four long months but it finally happened so squid says he closed his island because someone filled his potion system with rookie axes a common trolling method in skyblock is to fill people's inventories with useless items so after six months of stalking squid kid i developed a bit of a psychological profile of this man i know how he thinks and when i saw this tweet i instantly knew that this man was lying i completely believe that somebody dropped rookie axes into his hopper system because it was me but that's not the real reason he closed his island he's about to sabotage me so i held a stake out on my island and guess what i found a few hours later a brand new skyblock account afk in with a level one legendary rabbit truthfully i could have stopped squid before he even joined my island but i wanted to catch him in the act he is yet to realize that he is but a puppet and i the puppeteer dance potato boy dance so anyways i got on my secret alt account and then sent his secret alt account a party invitation well this is awkward he actually did accept my invite we had a lovely conversation and then i banned him from my island after that i moved on to the next phase of my master plan if i wanted to farm more potatoes i'd have to start farming pumpkins but wait a minute technoblade that's the wrong vegetable wait what do you mean it's a fruit i did the math and found that farming potatoes is so incredibly inefficient at leveling up farming that it was actually more worthwhile to build a whole pumpkin farm in this time i expanded my lead by another five million potatoes but at this point squid and i had been farming potatoes for almost a year with no end in sight so we came to an agreement whoever got to 500 million potatoes first would win the potato war i was going to win this war squid had been certain that he was right on my tail i don't know how far behind i am because at this point squid had a full organization back in him. A cabal of billionaires funding his every move. So in that video, I prepared my final trick. I hid my true potato count. The number shown in my video wasn't edited, but it didn't include the millions of potatoes left uncollected in my minions. Watch me dance, Squid Kid, you lose! After the war, the admins added a temporary NPC, the Potato King. It gave out a potato crown. While he may have lost the war, he's gone from 70 subscribers to having tens of thousands of fans, so it can't be said that he's lost completely. I've realized now that rank number one isn't an achievement it's a prison which forces you to dedicate your life to defending a temporary title but now with the war finally over i'm free